Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. We're out in the western suburbs of Chicago, and I'm with Scott. Scott, what's your last name? Gropner. Scott Gropner. Now, we've met each other a second time now, because the first time I saw your car, I said, we have to get the car on the right. channel. Right. Wasn't really the right day, though, but today... Beautiful day. Beautiful day. So today's the right day for you, the viewer, as well as for us, so we're sharing the car with you. So what did we bring today? I brought in a 1940 Ford Standard Coupe. It's a street rod. And this one is just delightful. It has all the right touches. Scott, it's so well played. First of all, it looks, in all appearances, stock. That's one of the things that attracted me to the car, Lou. I was looking for a, a little bit of a traditional style hot rod. Traditional in the in the uh, traditional in the aspect of a traditional suspension. It's got a four-inch drop straight axle on the front. The leaf springs on the back. Uh, it has had a couple of sway bars added to it to help improve the, the handling characteristics of the car somewhat. But uh, also just the, the classic styling. It's one of my all-time favorites. Just makes a beautiful street rod. Now, why is this one of your all-time favorites? Oh, well, I built models of this car when I was a kid. There and, we go. And always, <laughs> always have just loved the classic design of the two-door coupe. And you said this one is the standard. This is the standard model. There now, was there's also, another one. Go yeah, ahead. the deluxe. Uh, How do you tell the difference? Well, there's several ways. The uh, first way is the grill. Okay. The grill is slightly different. I prefer it to the to the deluxe. I think this is a more aggressive mm -hmm. appearing grill. On the deluxe, the chrome rim uh, rims, excuse me, chrome trim rings mm -hmm. around the headlights okay. are chrome. Okay. On the standard, they'd be painted the body color. Okay. So this is a standard. Well, this is a standard, but it's had some upgrades. It's got some deluxe features. Some deluxe features. Got it. All right. The trim rings around the headlights. The tail lights. I've had another tail light added. Let's take a look back there. We'll with the standard, you got one tail light. Okay. With the deluxe, you got two. So this is a standard with deluxe with features. Deluxe features, correct. Got it. Correct. But all for all intents and purposes, period, correct. Correct. Yes. Yes. And the tail lights look like bars on. They look a, like chevrons on a on a, a military uh, uniform. Yeah, that is great. And I love the jewelry. I'm going to call it. I'm not even going to call it handles. That's another, your emblems there are another way to tell the difference between a standard and the deluxe. On the standard, the trim is painted with a blue insert. On the deluxe, it would be red. Interesting. Did not know hub, that. The hubcaps are the same way. I'll feature those. Oh, yeah, just delightful. Let me take a look. Let's step, step back one more. I just want to take it all in. And another this, thing that attracted me to the car, Lou, was the, was the color. That's what is it, the color? That's, it's called Folkstone Gray. That's a 1940 color, standard color from Ford. Hmm. And then the second thing that, that really attracted me to the car was the, was the rake that the car sits at. It's got the taller tires in the back, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the shorter tires in the front. It's got a nice forward rake to it. So it looks like it's going 150 when it's just parked in a parking lot. Isn't that great? And the windshield with the split in the center. Right, split windshield, got the cowl vent on it. You'd be amazed at how much air that dumps into the, into the car. Wow. And this was period correct as well. I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it looks like it yes. all fits. So yes. I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. Let's take a look at the uh, at the interior. Okay. Is the trunk clean, or do you have all your parts? Oh, in it's there? totally clean. You should right, take a look at it. One of the, another reason why I bought the car. Ooh. It's been totally finished. Wow. It didn't come like it that did in not, 1940. It, it did not come like <laughs> oh, this in wow. 1940. That's beautiful. It's got a removable panel there, as you see. That kind of hides a, I'll call it another trunk, if you will. Yeah, a tire or something? You could keep a tire in there. I keep some tools and some jacks yeah. and so forth. So, so. When, you, when you picked up this car, I mean, it must have been just a treat. What, what happened internally? I mean, were you just like, you couldn't sleep or? Uh, you know what? I, I, like I told you, I'd been looking for about a year. Yeah. Uh, a lot of cars out there, not so many that I was interested in. This one popped up. Uh, it was located out in Sonoma, California. Uh, through the website, I purchased a uh, vehicle inspection from an ASE certified mechanic. That came back with flying colors. Our daughter happens to live out in the area, so my wife and I jumped on a plane. We flew out there, we looked it over, we drove it, and we just basically fell in love with it right there. So we bought it, and I had it shipped home. This was in the middle of the winter, so I had it shipped home <laughs> in a fully enclosed trailer. And uh, we drove, parked out here on the street, and we just drove it into the, into the garage. and. Uh, haven't had to do much of anything to it other than clean it up and, and have fun driving it. That is wonderful. Let's take a look at the interior. That's another reason why I bought the car. 
Lou. It's got a it's got a custom interior. Let's see. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, that's. Oh, this is nowhere near as fancy as as you would oh, get in 1940s. This. All leather. Holy cow. Custom armrests, uh, custom panels. Jeez. Oh wow. Custom kick panels. Wow. Seats and package tray. There's some prizes. I, I did not see the interior of this car before we're shooting it. So the viewers and I are seeing it at the same time. So, <laughs> wow. That's. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot oh of fun. my gosh. You have the best of both worlds, clearly, in this ride. Wow. And look at the headliner. And the view out the back. Wow. wow. Okay, let's pop the hood. Okay. Show me how that happens. I know okay. it happens off the front here. I had to ask when I was looking at the Is car. How do you on the other side? Just so, go ahead. How do you open the hood? So the fellow showed me. You pull this little bar out. Mm -hmm. Push in on this little button, and that's the hood release. It's got a 350 oh, Chevy <laughs> Chevy in it with a four barrel air conditioning. Wow. Uh, 350 turbo automatic transmission. What is this big? That's a, the overflow catch tube okay. for the radiator. All right. Even chromed out. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Front wheel disc brakes, drums in the back. It's a cool little car. Wow. Well, let's start her up. Okay. That is really smooth. It's another cool little aspect of this car. A lot of guys put the put the larger diameter exhaust tips on, but this has got the smaller pencil tips, so it kind of gives it a little bit of a of a, of a resonance, a little bit of a of a bark in there. Oh, that sounded good. Give me just a little rev. We're gonna watch all that water blow right out of it. Shut her down. Isn't that wonderful? No, oh, I love it. I love it. I mean, what it's a, a great conversation starter. I pull into a gas station to fill her up, and people, what your car is that? Or I've even had people offer to buy it from it, at car shows or at gas stations. It's, it's awesome. It's an instant friend maker. It, it really is. It really is. It's, it's an awesome little car. Uh, it's, awesome little it, car. It's, I mean, what's the reaction you've already shared me at the gas station? I mean, are people just thumbs up on the road? Yeah. Or? Oh yeah. People waving thumbs up. Yep, all I'm the time. Ex I'm excited to hear what the viewers think. I'm interested in hearing their thoughts. Scott, great car. Congratulations on getting one of your dream cars finally to yourself. And uh, thanks for being on my car store. Thanks for the invite, Lou. I appreciate it.